Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the bucket in Autodesk Sketchbook. What I like about the bucket in this app is that it's actually got a few different features. You can make gradients with it and I think that's super cool. So I'm going to go on a layer that I haven't got anything on. And you're going to want to go up to the items bar all the way up here. And click this one and then it will show you a bunch of different settings this right here is just for a normal bucket and this here is to make a gradient to the side you can shift the middle dot to show where you want the middle ground to be and same with the other two which I think is super neat. This one, and let me just clear this layer real quick. You can do the radial fill, which is also a gradient, and you can control where the white part is. Of course, you can actually use different colors for this. It creates that kind of gradient, which I think is super cool. Over here, you have different options, these two here. This one will change between sample all layers and the layer you're on. If it's on all layers, it will consider the boundaries for every layer that is visible. So this is what it's like when it's on all layers. You click inside this area, it'll just do that area. Turning the tolerance up and down basically lets it splurge out more, so the higher it is, the more it'll splurge out. Let's up the tolerance. Now, if you're going to do one layer, then it'll just do the layer that you're on, and because I've drawn nothing on this layer, it will just do the bucket with everything. This one reverses, so when you are doing the gradients, it will flip them around. And then once you're done, you can just let go of the button. That was how to use the bucket. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Bye!